We are at Soryok, which is the Seoul station for, you know, like trains and whatnot, but we're here to eat sushi. Oh, there it is. Precious when you smile. <laughs> we're also traveling, we're going to Busan. Yeah, we wouldn't come here just to eat the sushi. We came here thinking that each plate would be chonon, which is a thousand won or 77 cents. So it turns out if you want the cheaper sushis, you actually have to order them like separately. They don't come revolving like here, but there's a whole other menu that you can order from. Grilled shrimp with spicy sauce and mayo. Yeah, I'm gonna cop that. Also, we're gonna have to snipe this wagyu. The four pieces that I got is manon, 10,000 won, which is around $7.70. But hopefully it tastes good. First bite, here we go. It is very yummy. It's pretty goddamn good. The beef is not so good though. No way they're charging 6,000 for this. How are you liking it? I love it. It is grumpy because the price is a lot higher than she thought it was. This one is definitely Toro. And it's also the same color plate as the other ones that we've been getting. So I'll consider this one a steal. First bite, here we go. Another one. Mm. I have no self-control, man. I should have stopped like right here. This is now your guys' problem. I appreciate all of you for allowing me to splurge on a stupid meal like this. We are going to Pusan though, which is by the water. And we're going to be eating a lot of yummy seafood in this video. If you guys do decide to come here, it's a chain. So there are other locations in Korea, but I will get this. You can just order this as a set. I think this is way more worth it than just getting like four or five of these plates. Also, what is this place called? Ka Den So Shi. Ka Den So Shi. Let's go now. We got a train to catch. The trains are kissing. Me and Viv do that too at home. so good. I'll do my best to record here. <laughs> so this place is a, a Samgyupsal restaurant. So pork. So I'm very excited. And it seems like Viv's dad is a regular here. So we're about to be treated nice. Enoki, mushrooms, onions, and then we got our pork belly here. It's gonna be a very, very good meal. Wow. Look at how crispy it's getting. And over here, we got a true Korean feast going on. Viv's dad just left with Viv. They left me here to cook the, the samgyeopsal as well as cut it. It's really cute seeing, you know, Viv and her dad together. Makes me miss my dad a little bit. Dude, I'm telling you, Korean pork just hits different. And it's halal. Obviously, I don't know how Viv's dad likes the samgyeopsal cooked, but Viv likes it crispy. So we're gonna get it crispy for her. Viv's dad isn't here right now, I'll take this time to say that this pork is getting me horny, holy. Unfortunately, I can't eat until Viv's dad gets here because it would be rude of me to eat the first bite, you know? All right, it's looking good to eat, so we're gonna get started. First bite, here we go. And that was also the last bite. I'm gonna turn the camera off now. Delicious. Viv's dad is outside on a little smoke break. <laughs> uh, he's smoking a cig, but let me show you guys how I've been eating this. Uh -huh. So I got gen nip here, which is a perilla leaf. I'm gonna put paw on the bottom here, which is chives. I also got a fat piece of samgyeopsal here. I'm gonna lather that in some samjang, soybean like paste. Put some more pa Oh my god, f me, dude. In your water? In my water. It's all good though. 
Then I like to finish it off with some charred garlic. Ain't that a beauty? Yo. And then a little bit more sop and on top. Nice. Roll that up a little bit. Delicious. Nougat bar. Oh, nougat bar. And then Viv got a corn ice cream. Yeah, so here's what it looks like. Brown little stick and uh, it's delicious. When I first started dating Viv, I went to her house once and I had three of these. It's my mom's favorite. Oh, obviously I didn't mean to have three though. This is so gas. You guys might not believe me, but this is my first time eating ice cream since coming to Korea. I read it. A fruity bussy. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram story and apparently people love it. First bite. Oh, look, it's got marshmallow on the bottom. I love that. Mmm. It's really good. Kids and grown ups love it. And so, <gasps> caught it. Don't worry about it. It's all me. This is the filling inside. Mmm, yummy. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the hotel. The people want to know where you got your sunglasses. I already posted the comment. Gentle monster. This may or may not shock some of y'all, but last night we fell asleep. This is also our last day in Busan. So we are walking to Seomyeon, which has a lot of food basically. It's also a three hour, 41 minute walk. If we happen to see anything that we really like on the way there, we'll probably stop by. But you like the walk though. Yeah, I do. It's, it's 65 degrees, so it's like beautiful. Oh yeah, the weather here is so nice. Yeah, 63 degrees in Busan right now. 35 degrees in New York. How's the weather in New York? <laughs> to be honest, I'm starving right now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But when we get there, we are going to feast. There's a few spots that Viv wants to hit up to just eat at, so we are really gonna go ham tonight. What are you most looking forward to right now? Some yeomyeon, like a cold noodle dish. That's like similar to naengmyeon, but it's not. It's like a different noodle. I really wanna eat that, because I love chewy noodles. Nice, I love you. I love you more. Ah, uh, you should look at me in the uh, face. Uh, I love you more. Uh, I love you more. I'd like to formally apologize to anyone that is single and watching these videos. Stay strong, guys. This could be you one day. Also, I'm still thinking about the fact that Viv's dad asked Viv when we're gonna get married. That makes me feel very good about myself. He f***ed with me. He's a little old school, but you know, I turned on the, the charisma last night. When we visited Busan last year, I met Viv's dad and his Conqueror's hockey was really strong. But this year, after a lot of training, <coughs> I think I got him. The sun's coming up a little bit, which is hurting my eyes. Once again, I do regret not bringing sunglasses. It looks like a little mushroom egg. <laughs> Those are definitely Easter eggs. I forgot to say this earlier, but happy Easter everyone from, from a few months ago. Fun fact, by the way, Busan is the second largest city in Korea. Comment below if you had fun hearing that fact. Viv and I would love to walk on that path, but unfortunately, that's not the direction that we're going right now. All right, so we're stopping here for some coffee because Viv needs her fix. I don't drink coffee, so the only thing that's keeping me going is you guys because I want to put out the best video for you guys and add revenue. And Viv is going to get a Frappuccino Deluxe. <laughs> oksusu latte. Okay, Oksusu latte. That is an Oksusu latte. Corn latte. That's a It's a corn latte. I knew that. I just wanted to see if Viv knew what it was. Embarrassing. <laughs> I know you guys are immediately going to assume that my credit card de declined. That, that's, that's not what happened. It just doesn't take our foreign cards. Ooh, hop in that motherfucking phone. So just let it be known that my credit card did not decline. I mean, we could have honestly gone in and paid with cash, but I, at that point, it's just too much effort. Also, quick update on the walk. I took the walk. We are no longer walking the full four hours. Viv found a different spot that she wants to go to. So the total walking time is only gonna be about two hours. All right, Viv says she needs a quick pick me up and it's gonna be at Blue Shack Coffee. And they have a lot of options here. If I had to guess, I would say Viv is gonna go for the lemon Earl Grey tea. Oh, and I was completely wrong. I'll see you guys later. It's called a shock. Latte. Yeah, it's a specialty latte. It looks exactly as advertised. 
So Viv really wanted it. It's good. Nice. Hopefully that holds back the hangry demon from coming out for a little bit. And let's just keep going. It's so good. It's so good? Yeah. I know we've been walking for a while now. But bear with me, we're almost there. After a long, long walk. Five miles. Five miles, we made it. This restaurant is called Seomyeon Milmyeon. Seomyeon is the area that we're in, and Milmyeon means wheat noodles. So before you even go in, you order on the kiosk, I guess. Let me just get, oh, let me get PD. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get the spicy version. Why don't you get this one here, and then we'll just share. I forgot my mic. So right now, I'm using the camera's built-in microphone, which is not great. Ooh. Kamsamida. And we also have here some mandu dumplings. They look delicious. It is our last day in Pusan, so we are trying to pig out. That's why we walk so much today, to give us some leeway. Oh my god, that looks phenomenal, does it not? First bite, here we go. Mm. It's spicy. I'm gonna try bibs now. Mm. If you ever come here, get the cold with the soup, because it's way better. It's bussin. It's very similar to naengmyeon, if you guys know what that is. My palate is not experienced enough to know the exact difference between buckwheat and wheat noodles, obviously. The texture's great, portion size is great. I am loving the radish and the little bits of beef in here. The spice is very nice. Viv soup, super refreshing, like delicious. You can also get like peeping naengmyeon, but honestly, I think if you told me that this was naengmyeon, I'd believe you too. And very affordable. I am a huge fan. I think it was worth the walk. <laughs> I think it tastes even better since we walked here. It's like a reward. Yeah, I'm gonna try the uh, the mandu now. First bite, here we go. Mm. Oh my God, so good. Mm -hmm. I should probably bite into it so you guys can see what it looks like inside. It's delicious though. Typical mandu. Beef, vermicelli, green onions. And the actual like mandu skin, the dumpling skin, really nice. The dough, it's really, really nice. You think so too? Very ricey. Mm-hmm. I'm really glad we came to Busan to eat the food. The dish that originated in Busan? Yeah, if you guys are ever in Busan, nine out of 10, easy. You give it an eight? An eight. It's delicious, but I prefer a different thing than more. I give it a nine because I'm starving. Also, another fun fact, Myeon originated in Busan. So, personally, I think it's worth checking out. That was delicious. Very yummy. And I would definitely go back again. We are on our way to a subway station now because Viv has to poo. I have to. Yeah. Let's go. Every subway station in Korea. Wrong way. Wrong way? Goddamn. I only have like a couple fing like holds until it just has to explode out. Yeah, I gotta go. Go. Viv's activated the poo walk where she clenches her fist and then walks really fast. Viv is turbo walking right now, god damn. <laughs> you can see her fists are clenched. <laughs> oh, we made it. Well, not exactly. <laughs> now that Viv has conquered her demons, we're gonna go to it's called Homek, which is hot dog and mekju, so hot dog and beer. We'll see you guys there soon. We are still in Seomyeon, which is where we have been, but we are in the heart of it, I would say. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, and Viv and I are trying to make our way through to the hot dog place. As you can see, there are street carts everywhere. This area of Busan just looks like Hongdae. Oh, please don't hit us, please don't. Actually, I wouldn't mind if I got hit. This guy over here wouldn't mind getting hit either. Obviously, I don't want to get hit, but I'm pretty sure I could get some good money out of it. Yo, how do they keep getting these fucking statues of me? Dude. I mean, man, it looks identical. 
Korea want to be me so bad. Looks like they're getting ready for Christmas as well. Viv and I are going to be spending Christmas here together, which is going to be very fun. Oh, it's over here. All right, here it is. Home ec. Hot dog and beer. Let's get it. This restaurant is pretty much empty because it just opened. I was trying to have a good time tonight, not get f***ing obliterated. So this is the Mocha Stout, and this is the Ho Garden. Mocha Stout, cheers. This tastes like But since it was $5, I'm convincing myself that it's good. Uh, it's kind of good, it's growing on me. Uh, now, you know what, I'm a fan. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, a hot dog this size is kind of OD. So you got fries, cream, Konkaru, which is what you see on Injo and Me. And then, I don't even know what that is. I think it's like corn cabbage. Ooh, it's corn. That's surprisingly a lot of food. For those of you that don't know what a hotdog is, I think it originated in China. It's basically like a fried pancake, and the filling is whatever you want it to be. This restaurant offers a lot of options, but we got the typical red bean and cinnamon. I think in China, a hotdog is typically filled with like meat. Koreans like that sweet so. When you eat it here, it's usually something sweet. Oh my lord. It's, dude, this is so unhealthy. I've never had a hot dog with beer before. Oh, it's so flaky. Wow. First bite, here we go. Wow. That's like the perfect ratio like the filling and then the crunch outside and then the actual like ready dessert. Uh huh. No, that is uh, that is very yummy. Yeah, look at that. That is straight sugar right there. God damn. Yeah, baby. This place had really good reviews on Neighbor. I can see why. I can see why. Now let's say you want a drink here, but you don't want to eat something so sweet. Well, they got food too. This is fried chicken, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect it to be so goddamn much. The portion size is very generous. We just came here from eating the noodles. This is a lot of food for us, to be honest. But now you guys know why we walk so much. Let's see if the chicken is also good. It looks extremely crispy. Cheers, first bite, here we go. It's so good. The fry is so good. Wow. 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> In total? No, the chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chicken is insane, guys. I don't give it a 9 because it's a lot of skin compared to the meat. It's hard to complain because the skin is so good, but it'd be nice if the chicken was a little fatter. Man, it's hard not to love Korea. Minus the whole, you know, low birth rate, high suicide rate, depression, and all that. We finished the mocha stout, but we still got all this food left, so we have no choice but to order another one. We just got topped off. <laughs> Cheers. I'm getting really full though. I'm not the same man that I was like two years ago. I can only eat like- A year ago. Huh? A year ago. I can only eat like half of what I used to eat, honestly. The metabolism slowing down. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting old, guys. All right, Viv and I are done eating, so we're gonna leave now. Hey. Oh yeah? <laughs> Eight out of ten. What do you think? Year. Year. That's all you gotta say. Year. We're a little bit tipsy. I think we're gonna walk around the neighborhood. The cool thing about Busan is that you can steal. So I'm about to go into the 7-Eleven and we'll see what we can get. All right, that was a joke, guys. Do not steal. Viv, what's the plan now? More walking. Just walk. <laughs> hey, what do you make stir fried rice in? A walk. <laughs> walk. Dude. How do they keep getting pictures of me, man? You guys kind of look alike. Korea actually invented Christmas. Wow, you look awesome. This neighborhood is so lively. So many things to do. Yo, oh my God, again, a photo. There's a lot of photos in Korea and they're getting them straight off my Instagram. And here's one of them. Bro, come on. If you're gonna use my photo, don't make it so obvious. <laughs> I can convert. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just let out a really weird laugh and Viv was pretending like she didn't know me. <laughs> As you can see, Busan is bustling. Yo, this neighborhood is really nice. Somyeon, 
It is an absolute shame that we are only here for the rest of the night. And we're, you know, it's actually getting kind of late, so we're gonna go home soon, but we'll try to make the most out of it as we can. Ooh, look at the street food. Ooh, the tteokbokki looks so good. There's a bunch of street carts all over here, and it all looks phenomenal. Holy, I know that's gonna hurt. You want tteokbokki? Oh, let's get it then. I'm super full though, so I can't afford to eat anything else. Yeah, I'll say it. Eggs, pajon, mandu, odeng. Oh, Viv's getting the soup right now. But what Viv is really here for is a tteokbokki. Look at that color of red. Goddamn, I'm drooling. Ooh. This is our first time eating the tteokbokki in Busan. So hopefully it's good. First bite. Here we go, baby. Mmm. Sauce is more spicy, less sweet. I like it. I don't like it. I love it. Check it out. They also have fat pieces of fish cake. First bite, here we go. Mm. Yeah, that Busan food is busting. Holy. If you looked at a cart like this, you would make the argument that you can get the same thing in Hongdae or Yeonamdong. But nah, this is definitely the best that I've had so far. Mm. I think this one has the best rice cake. She's clinical with it. Sheesh. Viv and I just finished the street food and we ran into this. I don't even know what to call it, but people are hanging up their wishes on this. Yeah, so Viv and I are gonna sign something here and uh, we'll hang it up. The pen's not working. The pen's not working? This pen's not working. All right, so we just came to this side. None of the markers work right now. So Viv and I are just gonna call it a day. If you could write something, what would you put up there? Uh, your name, my name, and then love forever. If there was a marker that worked, I would have written, Hi, my name is Eric. I'm here with my wife, Viv, and I'm loving life right now. So it's not really a wish, it's more of a statement. I guess I'd like to live a meaningful life with Viv. Me too. Yeah, also I want to be a f***ing rich as shit. <laughs> Viv and I are getting kind of tired though, but it's too early to call it quits. Do you want to go shopping here? Yeah, you do. She clearly lied. I just asked her, whatever. Do you want to go shopping here? If this is what makes her happy, then obviously I'm going to support it. I'm sure Viv is going to be here for another 30 minutes, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, we're finally out. Viv uh, decided not to buy anything. And we're just going to walk home now because it is late. Nice little sign here. Let you know where you are. But Viv and I are actually going to walk home. Oh wow, let's go in here for a bit. Viv and I are gonna take a little break here, sit down for a little bit, maybe kiss, but uh, we're gonna walk home. We're like two, two hours and 30 minutes away from home. Anything you wanna say, Viv? What was your favorite part of the day today? Mm, I think walking. The weather was so beautiful. It was, it was really nice. Okay, my favorite part of the day was waking up next to Viv and knowing I had another Ooh, day with her. Come up with a new answer. My favorite part of the day was experiencing a new side of Korea that I haven't been to and trying out new foods. I truly enjoyed it. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the hotel. I'm so tired. I don't know if you can see it right now, but I have a crazy amount of back sweat on my shirt. You definitely can't see it. I Forget this guy, over there. It says that we are at Busan Station, which is the train station that is going to take us to Seoul Station. However, we still have two hours until our uh, train takes off. So we need to figure out what we're gonna do. Viv and I are super hungry. We haven't eaten yet. Uh, there's probably some restaurants inside the station like there were in Seoul Station, like when we got the sushi. But right now we're just cooling off because that was a really sweaty subway ride. Did you enjoy your time at Busan? Yes and no. Okay, why no? 
because I have a toxic dad. <laughs> <laughs> and why, yes? Uh, yes, because I still got to eat good food and make the most out of the two days we had here. Yep, dab me up, Shadi. Yeah. Viv, what are you in the mood for? Mm, like nothing crazy, I just want something small. I could put in a d joke somewhere in there, but I'm not going to because I'm mature. I just want something small. Let's go. Hey, I told a bitch I'm him, quit playing. Turn around with a boss, what bitch get in? We're on the second floor right now. Looking for a spot. Ooh, perhaps some traditional Korean food. All right, we decided on the traditional and we're gonna order off the kiosk here and then find somewhere to sit. So our lunch set just came out, suyuk. We got some seasoned rice here, perilla soup. It's not a lot, but it is what it is. And some pantans. Looks pretty Korean to me. We also do have some andu coming out, some dumplings, but they're not made yet, but we're gonna get them soon. Oh, yep, they just came out. And here is the mandu. Pretty big pieces, so I'd say a decent deal. Also, this is suyuk, which is the same thing as posam. They're both boiled pork, but the difference is, is here. This probably explains it a lot better than me. It is a Saturday, so Viv and I are going to go out and drink tonight uh, when we get back to Hongdae. So it's going to be a good time. Let's try this soup first. Oh my god, very nutty. It's made with perilla seeds, which has a very distinct taste. You can see the residue on my spoon. It's probably grounded soybean, perilla seeds, and perilla leaves. Rice is good. Let's eat the soup. As you can see right here, there's a little cartilage. I'm gonna put the cabbage on. This is probably gonna be something sour. Sayu right here, salted shrimp. Sayu chok. And that is a phenomenal bite right there. First bite, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good for what it is. This isn't gonna blow your mind, but it's a very satisfying meal. Six out of 10. I mean, like, what do you expect? It's train station food. Try out the, uh, the mandu. Mandu's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's Korean dumpling. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> Typical Korean dumpling. I, I said it's good enough. Like, we weren't expecting something crazy, but it's like when you go to airports and you eat the food there, it's always and overpriced. So, this is like better than that, obviously. I like the soup. I like the mandu. And I like the suyuk. Yeah. Very yummy. Hello everyone, Viv and I are finally back from Pusan. We are back in Yeonnamdong. It's been about three hours and 30 minutes of commuting. We're just out of it right now. We're very tired, but it is a Saturday night, but I will not be filming. Yeah, I don't know, you guys are probably disappointed, but I'm not gonna film today just cause, you know, Viv's had a rough past few days, so I wanna, you know, keep her company, not have to focus on, on filming, you know? You can include small little like moments of on your phone. Like, oh, okay, yeah, things. sure, sounds good. We're gonna be out for a while, but I'll do my best to like record little bits and pieces with my phone. But I'm doing this for Viv, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yo, let the people know I'm drunk as f right now. We're gonna keep eating. <laughs> Miraculously, Viv and I do not have a hangover and we're about to get our day started. Viv did get a coffee from Summit, which is the cafe we went to last week. We've been going pretty much every day and Viv got 
the chocolate sogopang that she loves so much. Ready? Yep. Oh yeah, must be nice. It's so good. Mm. Mm. I don't like chocolate, but... but it's literally the best. <laughs> it really is the best. The only possible thing that would make this better is if I had two of them. Oh, mm. The sweet, the salty, the buttery. It's perfect. Look at how many people there are on a Sunday. Look at all these bums. Get a job. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Who am I to judge someone for being employed or unemployed, right? A really funny observation. If you come to Korea, you'll see that everyone here wears black and white. Not me though. Tell everyone where you got your jacket. Uh, first video, some like store. I don't even know. Who bought it for you? I bought it actually. <laughs> well, this is my first time seeing a Mexican restaurant here that isn't an Ito one. I do miss Mexican food dearly. It's probably what I crave the most right now that isn't <laughs> Korean food. Viv, we are loving the fit. That shit's so slay dog. Slay dog. Viv and I had five bottles of soju last night each. And I do apologize for not recording everything like last night because we actually did do a lot, but Viv and I had a lot of fun together. But I'll make it up to you guys today by recording everything. All right, what is up, fellas? We are here at Oktong Shik. As you can see, it is a Michelin guide or star, I have no idea. Viv has really been wanting to go here. Since the beginning of the year, because there was a pop-up in New York City, but the issue is, is that it's expensive there, and no one wants to pay like 20 bucks. For rice and soup. Exactly, where you can just get it here. Here are the prices, which is a fraction of what it would have cost in the pop-up at New York. So this restaurant specializes in teji komtang, which is pig bone broth with rice. In my humble opinion, I think most Michelin star and guide restaurants are pretty overrated, but I'll keep an open mind. Ooh, everyone gets a pot of kimchi. Hopefully the kimchi is good, because when you have a simple dish like this, the kimchi has to be good. And here is the teji komtang. There is rice underneath the pork with some green onions, and that looks like a very clean broth. Kimchi mandu, which is just kimchi dumplings. Pretty fair serving size when it comes to the pork. I think you get like four pieces. Oh, five. seven out of 10. It was all right. The broth was definitely better than I thought it would be. You can tell the broth is well made. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of having my rice in the soup. I've never done that as a kid or growing up, but I know a lot of people do like that. The dumplings, yeah, the dumplings were, I mean, they were okay. I think the dumplings that we had at the Mule Mule place were way better. Oh yeah, those were good. One last thing, I know I'm napping, but I did not like the atmosphere of the restaurant. You know, a cook pop is just something you eat like in the morning when you're hungover. And I thought it would be a more like lively kind of environment, but it was like sitting at a sushi omakase for f***ing cook pop. I don't like those kind of stuffy, ambience. yeah, ambiances. The ambiance and the people weren't it, is what else, uh, the, the customers weren't it. But that's just me, because I'm pretty loud and I like to talk. Would I go back there? Definitely not. If you guys are interested in foods like that, I would definitely recommend that you try it out, because it was, it was a decent meal. Don't eat it in New York City. Oh, not, oh. That's, that's what you Yeah, yeah, I, I have to mention that, yeah, yeah. On. Our komtang here was manon, which is 10,000 won, so it's about $7.7 .7 each, right? In New York, it is $18 Do not eat that shit in New York. That is a fucking scam. But it's, it's worth it coming here to try it. Yeah, I'm just a fucking hater, to be honest. But I'm actually not. You guys know I love most foods. So where are we going? We're going to Manglon Shijang. Wow, what is that? It's just a fucking market. <laughs> you look beautiful. Viv and I are actually going to stop by at the subway station. Not because we need to take the subway or anything. We don't know what it is that we ate last night, but yeah, we got to go.
Oh my god, I need to go home. Viv and I really needed that. I think I needed it more than Viv, but who knows. <laughs> we are in Mangwon now. So we're going to be checking out the Mangwon Shijang, which means the market. It's just going to be a bunch of street carts and stalls, I'm assuming. And you guys will uh, be taken along for the ride. Looks like a pretty busy area. There's a lot of people right here on a Sunday. By the way, Korean men are cowards. The people next to me in the stalls, they're so shy. They're like, oh no, I can't fart, I'm so shy. Not me though, I let that shit rip. Wow, driving here must be ridiculously frustrating with all these people around. Hey, maybe, maybe you should record me walking like how I get you. Just so that I can feel like the star of the show sometimes. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my God, we love Viv. Viv's so amazing. Oh my God, Viv, where'd you get your dress? Oh, oh my God, Viv, where'd you get your sunglasses? Are you gonna buy it this time? All right, I'll see you guys in 30 minutes as usual. <laughs> there you go, let's go. <laughs> All right, Viv decided to get this set of cherry pajamas. We actually got two, so she can give one to Sharon. Yeah, we always wear matching fuzzy pajamas. It was Imanon, so 20,001, about $14.4. Ooh, something smells good. Oh, yeah, cruffles. Too bad we're not eating them yet. We're looking for some kogi. Are we? Actually, I have no idea what we're looking for. Just looking at food. Oh, okay. This entire street is just vendors everywhere. If you keep walking straight, you eventually end up here, which is the Shijang, the market. There's a lot of markets like this in Korea, and apparently this one's really good. There are so many options that it's kind of overwhelming. It's not just street food. Oh, there's also clothes here too. There are so many stalls here that my head is on a swivel as we walk down, and I'm sorry that I can't record all of it. Do you see anything that catches? Whoa, that catches my eye. Oh. Look at all that dog! God damn. Viv and I really like that kind of dog, which is called suk dog, mugwort. I want. I'm gonna get two. You're gonna get two? All right. Mangwon Shijang is very big and extensive. You could probably dedicate an entire video to it. I mean, I wish I knew. I wish I was better prepared before coming here. I had no idea it would be. So, <laughs> so we just saw a really cute dog with a huge head. We just came from all the way down there. And we're gonna go on this side now. Oh, uh, well, this car just blocked the view. This side looks way less packed though. I see why it's uh, a lot more dead here. It's more of just like packaged stuff uh, and clothes rather than food being cooked. This side is uh, not as exciting. All right, so we just left the market. I think I mentioned it inside, but Suktok is mugwort rice cake. And if you don't know what mugwort is, to be honest, I don't really know either, but it's delicious. Mm. You like that shit? Mm -hmm. A really nice combo is mugwort and red bean, but this is just the mugwort. It has like a mm. herbally earthy taste, like a grass taste, mm -hmm. but it's, it's good. It's really good. A lot of old people like stuff like this. Back when I was younger, one of my favorite things to do was to heat up uh, suktok and then dip it in honey. You have it in your teeth. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be samchon on for one. All of it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Wow. We went all the way there for a rice cake. Worth it. We're like a mile away from home right now. Viva and I are going to walk back and check out the One Piece store at AK Plaza. For those of you that watched, you know, last week's video, uh, we went and it had not opened yet. It opens December 1st, but it is now December 10th. Wow, it's been 10 yeah. days. That's, uh, that is pretty crazy. I'm probably gonna buy a cool little figurine if I find one that I really like. There's a lot of people going in right <laughs> How you doing, little guy? There's a lot of people going into AK Plaza right now. Hopefully not for one piece. Viv and I spent an extensive amount of time in here last year. I mean, what am I saying? Last week, Viv went into this Chikor store and got herself the Hera Lip Tint. Go watch last week's episode if you're interested in that. Although I won't blame you if you're not. Anyway, this is the first floor and the One Piece store is on the fifth floor. Oh yeah, baby. Play One Piece in Hongdae. Juice. <laughs> ah, damn, it says do not touch. 
but I really want to touch. Yeah, wait, where is this? I do want this, but I don't know where to find it. Stickers. You want stickers? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look! Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. I... Flip, flip it. Shoom. This is cool, I like it. I wish they had bone clay. Bone this clay? Wano, yeah, it's all Wano. <laughs> Alright. I already know Viv is going to want this, so we'll probably just get it. It's very cute. You can also go. You can also get Beppo if you want. Oh, this is pretty cool too. You can build the ships. Yeah, that's fire. Ooh. Oh, okay. This one's kind of dope. Holy sh! I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a bunch of different scenes making out Frankie. A thousand pieces. Holy sh! <gasps> is it a puzzle? Yeah, hey, it's a puzzle. <gasps> so we didn't end up with Frankie. Instead, Viv wants to get the puzzle. Well, you know, where everyone is uh, younger for their backstories. Wait, what? <laughs> These are good ones. <laughs> All right, so we've got a bunch of stuff oh, that we're probably going to buy. All right, let's go. It'll be a good one. You guys are not going to believe what just happened. He fell asleep. <laughs> I really needed a nap, guys. Right now, Viv and I are on our way to get some dinner, and we are on our way to a donkatsu restaurant called Katsuyo. But Viv and I have been there twice, actually, just off video, and it's really, really good. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Is it closed? Bro, really? No, why is it closed today? Oh my god, please, please, no. That is so sad. If you guys watched the first Korea vlog that I put out, we went to a Donkatsu place that was really f***ing fire. But then we went to Katsuyo, and then we determined that Katsuyo was better. But unfortunately, it's closed right now. I think it's because it closes at 8. That's so sad. That is so, so sad. If only I had not taken a nap, then we would have gotten to eat. Yeah, I'm trying to wake you up. Let's adapt accordingly since we got to figure out a new place to eat. We're going here. It's called Yono Dokta. It's a pretty spacious restaurant. And here is the menu. Not that most of you can read that. Yeah, hey, let's get some uh, tuna tonight. There's no tuna. It's, it's only salmon. Yono is salmon. It's only salmon? Wow, these guys look like pros. Not sure what that is. I'm going to assume some kind of sesame thing. That's pretty good. Sesame, peanut, miso. Yeah. Listen, Viv and I weren't planning on it, but since we are eating fish, we do need to drink a little bit. Honestly, I haven't recovered from yesterday fully, which is why I took a nap today, but you gotta drink when you eat fish, you know? Uh, this is Seto. So if you guys don't know, it's zero sugar soju. So Viv really likes it. I actually dislike raw salmon. Hopefully this place changes my mind. I always have an open mind coming into these things, you know? I actually have no idea if this is ours, but oh, I'm excited to eat it. And here is what our beautiful salmon platter looks like. Literally only salmon. We got some wasabi here, some pickled cabbage I assume, microgreens, onions, some little kochus, uh, little wieners, ginger, and then lemon. And I think we're going to be squeezing the lemon on top of the, uh, the salmon. All right, and here's the first salmon. I'm gonna eat it with some onion to cut through. First bite, here we go. I like it. Guys, it's good fish, like genuinely. I can assure you this is some quality salmon. Our clam pasta just came out, and that looks delicious as well. But I'm going to focus on the salmon first. We also got a side of lemons, which is gonna help a lot. Despite not liking salmon, I'm loving the meal. I'm very lucky to be eating something like this, so no point in complaining about how I don't like it. And to be completely honest with you, you know, with the, the dipping sauces, the pickled cabbage, the onion, and the peppers, and the wasabi, it's good. It tastes really good. I give it a nine because the price is actually off 25,000 won for the sashimi plate. But, and, I you, really like it. and you love salmon. I love salmon. Yeah, that's also why I eat it. If Dave loves salmon, I'm gonna eat salmon too. Besides, Dave doesn't find it attractive if I'm picky about food. We picked out all the clams, so we'll get started on the pasta soon. Oh, okay, we're doing that. The lemon's not only for the salmon. You can use it for the soju, too. Kill the salmon. I'm gonna change my rating 
8 out of 10. I'll stop being a hater, baby. Now for the pasta. Let's get started on this. This is clam miso pasta. First bite, here we go. No, it's fire. Is it? Yeah, it's delicious. Really? It's much lighter than I thought it would be. Yeah. I'm glad it's not like heavy. I would have minded heavy. if it was a little creamier, but yeah. it's still very good. It's still really good. The taste of the clams is very subtle, unless you actually eat a clam. And you can taste hints of miso. It's just really nice. And it's not too oily, not too creamy. Just a really nice pasta. It's not the best, but it's still really good. It is really good. The next time I want to eat something that's light with drinking, I would definitely come here. You know, the portions here are super generous. Huge. Yeah, so I love it. I love it too. This place does it right. I with it. You had a good meal? So yeah, we killed that we're on a diet though, so we're not gonna finish the miso butter. That would be unhealthy. You know what's nice? You can be loud here. Yeah. No one gives a Food wise, like 8.5 out of 10. You factor in the vibes. The you know, vibes. everyone's here just to have a good time and drink and eat. The price, a 9 out of 10. We with these kind of places. Yes, sir. I'm glad we came here. I guess it's a good thing that Katsuyo was closed, although that place is fire too. And I'll have to show it to you guys in the future video for Korea. Viv really likes it too. I love that. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I feel good about that meal. Why? I don't feel like shit. Nice. I mean, it was just raw fish and then pasta that wasn't too oily. Exactly. Check this place out if you guys are ever in the area. Very, very glad we came. I'm glad you came. Probably like top five so far. Anyway, we're gonna go to the peony joint here to get some hangover cures. Right here. Do you like this one or this one? I like this one. It's a one plus one, so you get buy one, get one free. Honestly, I have no idea what it is. It helps you not get a hangover. We don't know the science behind this, but what we do know is that every time we go out to drink, we'll have one of these before drinking and after drinking, and we have never woken up with a terrible hangover. It's just like a jelly inside, and it tastes like apples. Here's what it says on Google. If you want to pause and read that. To be honest, this all sounds like hocus pocus, but yeah, it works. It's a placebo effect. It works. Viv and I actually had three of them yesterday. We probably got diminishing marginal returns from each one, but it is what it is. We didn't wake up feeling like shit, which is great. All right, we're just gonna head back home now. Our friend Violet is coming over. Yeah, it's a Sunday night. I'm not really sure why she's out. She has no idea, but when she gets here, we'll probably tell her, hey, let's go drink. <laughs> That's why we got the, the gels, because we're gonna drink more. So yeah, the night is not over yet. Also, since we have this downtime, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to smash that fucking subscribe button. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. To include the clip where it shows you the non-subscribers who are watching your video versus... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A surprisingly large amount of my viewers are subscribers. So thank you guys, you guys are loyal. So that means that my videos aren't getting out there. <laughs> and I'm trying to grow too, you know? <laughs> We are currently inside the Superior Highball Club. The bartender gave us a lengthy rundown of all the kind of highballs that you can get, but I think we're gonna stick to the basic stuff. My alcohol palate is not very sophisticated. I'm just here for a good time. Viv and I got Suntory with ginger ale, and Violet got Makers with Coca-Cola. Cheers. Yummy. Hey, and we also got some truffle fries that smell absolutely delicious. How is it? it tastes like McDonald's fries. Nice. Actually. How is yeah, it? it? Tastes like McDonald's fries, but with truffle. Yeah. Nice. Let me tell you guys what I think. It tastes like McDonald's fries with truffle. <laughs> That's the goat right there. There's a few people in here. I don't want to point the camera around at them, but we are currently at Katsuyo, which we were trying to go to yesterday for dinner, but they were closed. I was actually going to stop filming after last night. Uh, that was supposed to be the end of the video, but I wanted to show you guys Katsuyo because we really like it. This is actually our third time coming here this week alone. So the guy who runs the place 
knows us. We, we basically walked in and he got our order in. The menu here is really simple. I mean, you can get beverages, whatever, but the important thing is he sells three different entrees. Tunchim is, I want to say, I honestly don't know what cut of pork this is specifically, but I mean, you guys will see it when it comes out. Anshim is pork tenderloin, and then you can also get half and half, but I would just recommend getting this one. You get more for your buck. Yeah, this place is so good. <laughs> So we actually got both options for the video. This is the tenderloin, the angshim. It's beautiful. So in this you have your coleslaw, some pepper, mu, the radish, rice, some sort of tenjang here. It's spicy and it tastes very delicious. Salt wasabi, pa kimchi, donkatsu sauce, and then also some truffle oil. And this is the set. When you order this, it comes with everything here. And mine looks like this the more conventional donkatsu. This is the sirloin, and as you can see, it also has a little piece of fat on each one, and the crisp is just beautiful every time. Viv and I think that he sous vides it and then uh, lightly fries it. Everything about this meal is delicious, I kid you not. Here's how I like to eat mine. I like to dip it in the salt. I like to put a little bit of wasabi on top of it. I like to dip it I like to dip it in this homemade donkatsu sauce, which I think is like pineapple and tomato, and then lightly dipped in the truffle oil. First bite, here we go. I swear to God, it's delicious every time. It's so good. The pork is just cooked perfectly. I like the vibes here. Like the sajangnim is really nice. I like how lit up it is and like the color of the wood. It's just nice, nice vibes. I'm sure there's better katsu places, but I don't know, I just like this yeah, one. Yeah, we just like this yeah. one. It's really nice to go to a tonkatsu restaurant and then have every single thing that comes out in the set be delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Like even the soup is amazing. In the first Korea video, we went to a different katsu place and that place is really good too, but pound for pound, this is just better pork. The other place is really good because it was saucy, but on its own, this katsu is amazing. I love it. That was a good meal. A very, very good meal. Oh wow, it just became an even better meal. The tenderloin is way way softer than the sirloin, obviously. And I like the bigger serving size with the, uh, the sirloin. How you guys doing? If you made it this far into the video, uh, congratulations, you've made it to the bonus part, I guess. I figured I would record just a little bit more to show you guys what my days in Korea are really like. I feel like the vlogs kind of make it look like Viv and I are constantly moving around, which we are for the most part, but every now and then, like today, we, uh, we do have a down day where we just kind of sit back and relax. Right now, Viv is actually going to a sauna where she's going to be there for about four hours. I asked her to record uh, some of the stuff that she does there. So if she does record, I'll put it at the end of this video. But for me personally, I need to stay home because, because I am editing the video that you guys are watching right now. Yeah, it's not much guys, but it's honest work. Yeah, so that's gonna take a lot of time. Also, for those of you that ask, I edit on Final Cut Pro, nothing special. 6.45 p.m. on a Monday, I'm gonna be alone for like four to five hours, just gonna do some work. But before that, I wanna loosen up a little bit. And I guess this is why it's a bonus clip. After eating at Katsuyo, I actually went to a Pyeonijeom, the convenience mart, a convenience store, whatever you wanna call it, with the GS25, picked up some snacks that are gonna help me get through the day or the night I should say let me show you what I got oh yeah it's only wet because of the rain makes it look really nice you know but this is a lemon beer this says kom pyo I think anyway I'm gonna crack this open and we got some snacks to go with it I'm not really a beer guy because it's too much volume I just prefer taking shots but for a night like this it's nice it's okay I also do have pusha pusha, which if you guys know, it's just uncooked noodles that you break apart and you eat them 
as if they were like little crackers. So for those of you guys that don't know what this is, it'll probably just be easier if I just show it to you. They're basically just ramen noodles that haven't been cooked yet. I chose to break them a lot more than I think most people do because they like to eat bigger chunks like this. But I like mine really small and you'll see why in a bit. There's always a little powder packet that you sprinkle on for some flavor. In this case, this pack is grilled chicken powder. Obviously, I already opened up the bag so I can't really shake it, but I don't really mind using my hands either. Yeah, baby. Anyway, let me show you real quick how to eat this. Oh my God. Mm. You're pretty much just eating like the flavored powder packet. You just have these noodles as a vehicle. Ugh. That's a good life. And then I do have an assortment of nuts. It's a nut party. I'm not really sure why there's a banana on the cover of it, but I suppose we'll find out soon. <laughs> oh, sh we found out immediately why. The first thing I see at the top is a banana chip. Mmm, good. Shit. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like an old man right now, but lately I've been uh, I've been enjoying snacking on shit like this rather than. Actually, I don't know. That was a lie too. I like eating everything, but I was in the old man mood today. Wow. Oh my god. Wow, it's so good. What the? F Koreans, man. I swear to God, there is sugar sprinkled on like every single nut here. How many calories is this? Jesus. Okay, I should probably not finish the whole bag. I'm probably gonna finish the whole bag. It's so good. <clears throat> Let me give you guys a different perspective of what my night looks like. I got all my snacks right here. Beer, snacks, computer. Before I call it a night, let me give you guys a visual of how my night would go. Okay, real quick, just faking it. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. Ugh. Work, 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 work. That's just efficiency. <clears throat> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.